Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Camp Shack Productions. Uh, today, we are going to try a little adventure. Uh, I, for the first time, am going to go ice fishing with my brother-in-law. Um, he's a big fisherman, and ever since the pandemic, I have wanted to go ice fishing. I watched a bunch of videos, um, so I asked him about it, and he said he would be willing to take me. So I have the back loaded up because once we're done fishing, I'm going to find a place to camp either at the reservoir we're going to or somewhere down the road. Um, but I'm going to spend a cold night out and see what I can catch. So I am pretty stoked to do this. I have always wanted to go ice fishing. All right, y'all. So we decided we would actually come and meet. I am at Rockport State Park. You can see that there are a bunch of people gearing up to go out. Uh, I found a lonely little parking spot here. Hopefully I don't get in trouble, um, but it's crazy. There's a lot of people out here and I'm super stoked to go do a little ice fishing. This should be fun. So, yeah. Seven feet. That is so awesome. Amazing. I won't drop it down the hole this time, I swear to God, guys. Rookie mistake. Throw the fish behind you. I'm not fucking around when I talk about how big it is. Ooh. Oh, God. All right, y'all. So this behind me is Rockport. Um, and I spent the day out here with my brother-in-law fishing. Uh, I actually ended up catching two fish. Both of them were pike. And I learned today that bottom feeders are pike. They're low down deep in the lake. Middle of the lake is where you're gonna find your trout. And top of the lake near structure is where you're gonna find bass. And bass are the one that everybody wants to eat. Um, so I decided to pay a little bit extra money because this is a state park and get a camp spot for the night. So I have camp set up. I'm going to split some firewood, get all of that ready, and then it is going to be time to watch the sunset out here uh, and have a step two and just enjoy this most amazing view. I mean, it is spectacular out there. Um, it's supposed to drop down to like, geez, four degrees tonight, maybe lower. So uh, I will keep you guys up to date and check in with you as I go through the night. But for the most part, just gonna kick it off and uh, have something to eat and then probably crawl into the back of that thing 
spend the night, block out the windows, wake up early and head home. But uh, who knows, maybe I'll go out. I brought my actual regular fishing pole. Maybe I'll go out and see if I can find a hole that's still open and see what I can dig up out there, but probably not. Probably just kick in a camp here, have a fire, have a beer, chill. So I'll check in with you guys in a few. So, it is getting dark super fast. The temperatures are dropping, but the glow is just outstanding. I mean, look at that. Come on, man. So, I'm gonna wait until it gets dark before I light my fire, so that way I just stay out here where it's nice and cold. And uh, I'm gonna cook up some pasta that I brought from home, just kind of reheat it, and then probably crawl into the back of the Nissan here um, this is home. I got a sweet little setup here. I'm, uh, I'm all set as far as inside. And uh, now I'll just wait a little while here. Probably sit in the car where it's a lot warmer. And uh, then I'll climb in the back here and eat some food after I sit out, have a little fire, and get ready for dinner. Woo! It's chilly. All right, well, so the iPhone <laughs> turns on a light when you need it. That's pretty great. So uh, camp is set, got my fire going. Camp is up over there. Dinner's gonna be cooking here shortly. So it's time for a step two, my friends. Cheers, I hope you're doing well and I hope you're enjoying your evening overlooking some beautiful place and enjoying a nice fire out in the wilderness. Mm. I had to open this with a lighter and then I set it in the snow for a few seconds and it is already starting to frost inside, but cheers. Oh, it's delicious. Mm. Tonight is definitely going to be one of those nights where if you're not paying attention to your fire, it's going to go out because it's going to be cold. So I'm going to get cooking while I have this thing going. All I'm doing tonight is I have some leftover pesto pasta. And probably like a Lipton cup of soup and then boil a bunch of water for water bottles. So that's what's in store for dinner tonight. Checking you with the guys when I'm starting to eat a little something. Oh my god, my hand is so cold holding this tripod. Alright, I gotta go. Bye. Alright y'all, it is now about 8.40. Uh, I just checked the weather and it says that it is 11 degrees. Fahrenheit. I'll put Celsius right here and that it feels like it is eight degrees. So with it being that cold outside, um, I'm just going to crash. I boiled some water and put it into my Nalgene's. I have two of these stuffed down in here. Uh, and right now I just have a little fleece blanket over the top of everything and it's keeping me nice and warm. So I am going to pull out the iPad and probably just crash for the night. Um, there's not really any star photography. There's too much ambient light coming from Park City. So best bet is to just hunker down, do what Steve would do, stay nice and warm and crash out. So I'm going to go to bed and I will check in with you guys in the morning. It's supposed to snow tomorrow, so we'll see. Um, and I'm also curious to just see what the lake looks like at sunrise. So see you guys in the morning. Be well. All right, y'all. Good morning. Uh, I survived the night out here. It is 730 in the morning. I just checked the temperature. It says it is six degrees outside and feels like negative four. It is really cold out here. Um, I've been out of the car for a few minutes and my beard is already starting to freeze. So I think I'm going to pack up. I had a great time. I am really looking forward to ice fishing again. Um, it is just a super cool. Oh, you guys can see this. Huh? 
that's why I sleep out in this cold weather is for stuff like that. So I'm going to pack up, get rolling, head back into town and start the day. So y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go down and hit that like button. Um, and remember I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Please help me out. Go down and hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, the next time you go camping, it will feel like it is negative four degrees and be six degrees no matter where in the world you are. So do yourself a favor, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video. Be well, my friends.